this is an early Fender Ultimate Chorus, a behemoth, but pretty lightweight. And what am I doing? Replacing a jack and just some general servicing. And I just want to show you guys how I approach uh, servicing the bottom of this board, since you can just basically flip it up from the control panel once you got all that stuff loose. All I do is clamp this little Irwin quick grip. And since there's no tension here, there's no tension on the pot, I don't need to worry about this. I mean, if I, it doesn't take any force whatsoever for this thing to be in this position. It's, this is not in jeopardy. But this is just how, how one guy does it. And that's it. Easy peasy. All right, so quickly, um, here's what I do. After you just add a small amount of solder, fresh solder, to the pins here, and just, my, I, my iron got cold here, I, I switched it off before I was able to clean the tip, so stop judging. And what I do is I come in at this angle, and I'm really close, so I'm gonna bump the camera. And I like to go horizontal with this, and what I'll do is I'll lay it like this, and then I'll press the tip between, and then I'll press into the side of the joint, and then you could you could visualize it wicking the solder off. And when you see it's clear, you just move over. Boom, you do this one. Boom, you do this one. That's all you're gonna do. And then so on and so forth. The one that was sitting here came off uh, so easily and cleanly. So, uh, in fact, uh, let me show you how clean uh, the pins are on the, on the broken jack. So here's a, a beautiful indication that you've removed the solder in the best way possible. You see how there's no major bumps there? Don't worry about the ones back there that are like uh, two or three millimeters down on the shaft of these pins. But this is super clean. Pulled right out. So that's all you do. Um, and, and then you're not gonna you're not gonna damage the PCB material down there, the, the pads or the traces. So pretty easy. So uh, once this jack arrives, then we'll just reinstall it, put the amp back together, and that's it. But these amps are nightmares um, because these jacks here, and there's, what is there, like, there's uh, seven of them, good lord. The nuts that go on these are really thin and very easy to cross thread. Once you cross thread it once, you're done. You need a new jack. So these are very, very tricky to work on um, if you don't know the feel of it. Once you get the feel, of, of how these nuts go on to these uh, the threaded uh, bushings, uh, then you're in business. You could do it pretty quickly, but you still have to proceed with caution. So that's it. And uh, one more shot for the old thumbnail, huh? Maybe this will be the thumbnail. I don't know. You guys take care.